What's up everyone, Trent here at Precision Transmission. We've got us a 90s model GMC 1500 pickup. It's got a LS swap in it with a 4L80E transmission. Customer said he bought the unit from a junkyard. It is painted black. I don't know if they just painted it or it's been built before. I know the customer put a new converter in it issue is is the transmission has no gears after third um, you can pull it down into third and it tries to lock up it seems like but nothing if you put it in overdrive and try to go on up um, we've got everything all marked and ready to go to be pulled out so we're going to get this thing rolling get this thing pulled out and kind of see what we got but our biggest issue is here we have fluid oh in our connector you don't see that there kind of so we're going to pull this out real quick let me see if I can pull this out bear with me I don't want to get fluid all over myself and the phone oh yeah so this thing is oh, it's filled with fluid oh yeah see so that's the biggest problem half of those pins are covered in oil so that's going to have those cross leaking and have all kinds of issues with this unit wiring harness will definitely be replaced on this one so y'all guys stay tuned and we will get this thing rolling have a good day just like that we got an empty hole where our 4l ade was sitting and this is our ls swapped 90 model 1500 extended cab everything looks really good i'm gonna get the flywheel off there check the rear main seal just in case because we've got it out so we want to make sure that everything looks good for the gentleman um wiring looks good um we will get this thing to our part and y'all guys stay tuned so this is supposedly a junkyard transmission or it was built at one point in time the so beauty on that okay, table. Stay tuned. This is supposedly a junkyard transmission. It really looks like it has been built at one point in its life. I can definitely tell you it's got a new output tail housing seal. And look at the fluid in that connector, guys. This is probably one of our biggest issues with this transmission here. So the wiring harness, we always replace our wiring harness, but this is a big, big must here to replace this harness so we'll repla be replacing that as well for this customer um it looks like he put a new converter in it once we get it out and we start tearing it apart we're going to be looking to see if he put a new lockup ring on the end of the shaft if he did not do that you know that's that is a no-no if you are going to be putting a new converter in it if you um, have a seal around or if you got a transmission parts place or whatever, try to find that seal. Because if that seal is bad and you put a new converter in it, you didn't do anything for yourself. So new seal, new converter, that's the way to do it. On that, I just don't do used anyways. Um, I guess he got it in and it, everything worked correctly for a little bit and then I don't know where it lost fourth gear. So this is a big issue here though. Um, no codes in the vehicle. We are going to get this thing tore apart for you and see where we're at. So if y'all guys will stay tuned, we'll have this thing tear apart here shortly. Y'all have a great day.